Hey everybody, it's PJ. We have our very first goat birth video of 2022 to share with you. Now, I do want to warn you that this birth is for Tempest and we've been really worried about Tempest for several days now. In fact, we decided yesterday that we were going to induce her, which means we just gave her some lutealate to help her dilate and make sure that she was ready to have the birth. And, um, during this video, everybody was trying to be very upbeat and trying to make it sound like Tempest was going to be okay when we're really concerned about her. She is still alive right now. She's resting in the barn, um, but we don't really think that she is probably going to make it. She's not in pain. Um, we're just watching her. And so while that is awful and we're, we're really upset about that, we have a healthy baby. I'm not going to tell you how many, but we have at least one healthy baby. And so that is something that we try and take comfort in when uh, we're, we're concerned with her and that she's not going to make it because a healthy baby is always a good thing. So enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. We are out here with Graydon and Tempest, and we are ready to have some babies. These are the first babies of kidding season, and um, we are excited to be here. So Tempest has been um, pushing for a little while now. She's a little bit tired, um, but... Uh, horns? The horn. Oh, yes. It's pushed up really far. Yeah, so um, what Graydon's talking about now is goats have um, what you call horns, inside of the uh, uterus. So the uterus is kind of heart-shaped and the two um, bumps on the back of the heart or the top of the heart, those are called the horns. That is where they have kids. So when they have twins, one kid would be in each horn. When they have triplets, you'd have two kids in one horn and one in the other. Um, and a lot of times, if there's only a single kid in a horn, they can be um, come out a little bit stronger just because they don't have to fight for as much space but it is a flexible wall and kind of moves over in the womb uh, to kind of create as much space on either side as needed with tempest um, hers is pushed up closer to uh, the vaginal opening and so it's very distinctive and easy to tell um, that there's two sides of the horn so you can see we've got some hooves there We'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and spread out a towel for Grady. Do you want one on your shoulder, Grady? Um, nah, not yet. Okay. So we're gonna set a towel out for him to put the kit on. When um, it is ready, I'm gonna throw one over my shoulder in preparation. And then I'll have one ready to give to Graydon when he needs it. So Tempest is our second oldest pregnant doe. Um, she is, what, nine? No way, she, no, that's Valley. Um, she's a, Valley's 12, she was a 14, right? Valley was born in, in, in 12 or 11, I can't remember. I think it was, yeah, 11. So Valley's 11 and then, Tempest was a 2014 baby? 14 or 15. Not 15, 14, yeah. 14, so she'd be eight. So she's definitely getting up there. Um, but um, she's carried she's carried herself pretty well through this, through this pregnancy. Um, we are almost ready for this baby. You can see the head is right there at the vaginal opening, ready to come on out. Tempest is doing a good job um, applying pressure through it. Pushing, Graydon's um, applying a little bit of downward pressure on the hooves to help um, guide that out and not have the baby slip back into the womb. Um, yeah, so Tempest was bred to Vlad. So this will be a Vlad Tempest baby. All of these ones will be, obviously. And say good morning, Ashton. Morning. 
Ashton, is he ready to catch? She does feel a little dry. Mm. So what Graydon's saying is that Tempest feels a little bit dry, um, which can come when the labor um, is a little bit more extended. Um, so because it is early morning, um, we haven't been here all night. Um, we checked late last night and then came back early this morning and um, she was getting ready to deliver. So we've been keeping an eye on her, but um, uh, she has been probably in labor a little bit longer than we would have liked before we came in and made sure to help with assisting. Um, Graydon was the, obviously it is now, was it proper presentation? Um, not really. I actually pushed the other one back because his head was all twisted. This one's head's a little twisted as well. So there are two babies at least, and they were a little bit tangled up, which could explain why um, the delivery uh, wasn't just happening naturally. Um, so Graydon pushed back the second one um, so that this first one has more room in the birth canal to be able to make it out. Yeah, my hand is getting cold, so I'm going to switch hands. Is there a chance we can move her? Um, yeah. Uh, let's do it. Um, okay, um, we're going to give this a shot. We're just going to try to rotate her butt over here and then flip her this way. So that's, that's the basic plan. Okay. You're going to get up close and burst. Okay, well, not so much on the flipping plan, but Ash, do you want to throw some hay back there now? Awesome. All righty. Here we go. Tempest is back to getting some contractions in there. Good, good strong contractions. The barn cat's coming to say hey. Graydon's making sure that nose is still in the right spot. Poor Tempest. Childbirth is not easy. She's getting some good contractions, though. Are they, are they uh, strong contractions or are they just showy contractions? Oh, showy. Showy. <laughs> so there are a lot of... because of this head, though. It's a lot of there show. Go. There we go. There's, there's the baby. All right. One healthy... I don't think it's alive. I don't think it's alive. Oh. Never mind. Wait, wait. Oh. Whoa. Maybe it is. It might need some help. Okay. Make sure it's, you know, right? Do we need to swing it? I think we gotta try. It doesn't look like reading very much. It's just kind of. Um. Oh, yeah, that's sending a lot of stuff out of it. Okay, so. What uh, you may not have been able to see, because I was trying to open the door so that Ashton had more room, was that this baby expelled plenty of fluid from its lungs. Um, oh, there's a, a shake. Is he breathing at all? Looks like he... You, you want to shut that door? Sure, I'm sure I'm fucking cool. <laughs> 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 your face? Okay. So, is it a he or she? He. No. Yeah. That's testicles. Yeah? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, so he is doing, he is breathing at this point. Um, we're going to go ahead and give him plenty of loving and make sure that he stays doing okay. Um, do we just want to leave him here for a sec, keep rubbing him, or get him into the milk room? Yeah. You can leave them here. It's not that cold. All right. Here he goes. <laughs> yeah, so arriving to work on time, it would seem. She already ran upstairs earlier. That might have been Sam. Ah. I thought she was coming downstairs. All right, so we know there's a second one already, so Graydon's checking that. There's at least two more still. 
um, which is not a surprise at all. Most of us would have been surprised if she'd had twins. Um, yeah, flip them over and we'll get to the other side. So we're gonna flip them over here, make sure we're getting both sides. He looks more natural on this side. Yeah. He must have been a right horn baby. <laughs> He was. Yeah, I thought he was from the left side. He wasn't. Yeah, so he's a right horn baby, um, which in general, um, I find their heads tend to be more curved to the center of the mother, just because that's the direction that the womb, it's kind of circular. So, um, yeah, so not surprised that this side seems a little bit more natural for him. You can see he's picking up his head a little bit. Um, already looking so much better. That's a good sneeze there. That makes me happy. Um, Graydon says it is a mess in there. Um, that can come a lot of times when there's a lot of pressure, um, which, yeah, I would, and what? Oh, yeah. So I would not be surprised if she has two placentas. Um, that can happen. Um, Either they join together, which makes it look like one Right. Um, I meant two, like, separate ones, just because there's so much additional flesh in there. Sorry, I was focused on a bunch of hay. <laughs> say hi, Sam. Hi, babe. I'm, wait I'm still waiting for someone to say hi, Sam. Say hi, Andy. It's a concrete floor or a ribcage. It's like flat at the bottom. It feels like I can feel the concrete floor. Yikes. And we got our first little boy. It's literally a perfectly flat, solid surface. I cannot tell what the heck it is. And I know what I'm looking for. Right. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, it is icy outside. So, like hearing very stories, icy. like very icy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get her flipped. Um, do they need to get milking done before we get the goats and, and stuff? Or, um, sure, you can talk. Indigo's gonna talk, and we're gonna focus on Sam's butt for a second. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We're gonna try and flip her um, so that Graydon can feel more of what's you happening. Don't want her up, do you? No, I mean that would be fine if she wants to, but I don't. Think she and there we go. She she's to, flipped yeah. onto the other side. Now I just gotta make sure she doesn't flip back. Cause... Yeah. So I uh, I got up to the office first today and I was like something is happening because I'm never the first one and the lights are all off. I was like what? <laughs> then Sam walks in and goes what? <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. So cute. Hi, baby boy. <laughs> You're tired, aren't you? Oh, there's a sneeze. Benjamin is such a good cat. Hey. Benjamin. Come here. Hi. 
Hi, you. Did you beat the new baby goat? They're already super fluffy. Yeah. He's so fluffy. The only thing is that he sorts everything out, but I don't think she wants to stand up. <laughs> so you don't think about it at all. I think he's can. Anything can help, but it can also make it worse. I just don't think you're going to actually get her to stand up. Alright, so we're going to try and get her to stand up. Sorry, I shouldn't. to see if that can reposition uh, the... It went through my knee. Oh. <laughs> All right, she's up. We're gonna see if that helped reposition anything. So Graydon can figure out what it is. Jason's up there sitting, watching the whole thing. Benjamin went to steal the water. Got the little baby goat over here. Come see the baby goat. Come see the baby goat. You picture a uterus, like a broom. And usually there's like the bed over there, the nightstand over here, you got the dresser in one side. So it's underwater. That's like it, like, it was a submarine that blew up. Like, <laughs> there's no right or wrong. There's bits and pieces of every little piece of furniture. The furniture is not the babies, just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> there is bits and pieces of, it feels like there's bits and pieces of baby everywhere. Right. Let's get a butt out of the corner. If we could have some kind of food. Yeah, I'm trying to think if we can like dilute and just pump a little bit. Take a few steps. Soap and water would be great to go. Probably a good idea to get some soap and water. Use tons of that because... Water dries out. That's water is... Why is he on? going to stand there and make sure she doesn't step on the baby. I'm going to get some lube. Out of the abyss. The mess. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just so far down there. What yeah. it feels like to me is there's two really big babies just resting on their sides at the very bottom of the uterus, and all the placenta, it all is. the sacs, all everything is on top of them and not wanting to come out. Both left side? No, what I just said. What I just said. That guy was on the right side, I think, um, in front of this guy. Which would make sense why he'd come out first. So now you're going to the left side. I don't know if you're going to be. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah. <laughs> Baby goats are slippery and they are always trying to um, not have you have a hold on them. So a lot of times when. Um, we're helping deliveries. We will um, get their hooves so we can help glide them out, and um, they will pull their hooves back in, and it can make it quite difficult. And just like that. Oh. You can't find them? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
Benjamin's gonna snuggle up with the baby goat. I think he's snuggling <laughs> on the baby goat. <laughs> he's like, I'm just trying to keep you warm, buddy. So when a sack is super thick, it can make it um, especially hard to hold on when we're trying to help glide him through. And so <laughs> that can be definitely one of the reasons that they keep sliding back down. Because, um, I mean, Tempest is just so deep here. She's a large framed girl. Yeah, Emery says she's a large framed girl. <laughs> so bumping her can help bring everything up a little bit so that you don't have to go all the way down um do you need a towel Graydon? um oh my gosh like it's thick enough for me to just hold on to it yeah that is a very thick sack and there's stuff in it that I keep grabbing. <laughs> Do chunks of things up to your like legs and then pop right out of your hand because they're not. Oh. Yeah. So you had to talk about um, first births always being the most complicated. Yeah, so every year um, the first births that we have um, in the season are always the most complicated ones, so we've come to expect it. Um, uh, we knew this was probably going to be a, a rougher birth than the rest this year. Um, and we, do we even have a reason why, or is it just happen? Um, the, the first ones tend to, when there's a problem, they tend to go early or... Uh, yeah. I got my phone. I was like, where's my phone? I was like, oh yeah, that's what we're recording with. And we grab it. Um, but yeah, earlier... Yeah. Um, but now earlier births tend to be like premature babies, um, which causes, which obviously can cause problems, or if there are um, dead babies inside, right. a lot of times yeah. it can cause the mothers to go early. And dead babies tend to cause a lot problems. of problems. Yeah. Glove for my other hand. Okay. Give me that. That's so cute. Benjamin isn't lying on him this time. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Jeez. Well, I was just trying to pull your hand out. <laughs> well, but you went like... <laughs> what? <laughs> 
<laughs> that was interesting. Did you bring some uh, uh, oxy? Uh, did you bring some oxy? Uh, uh, make sure that Tempest doesn't lie on the baby. You gotta move the baby because you can't move Tempest. <laughs> and Benjamin was like, I'm out of there. She nearly sat on him. Tempest is what, like six? Eight. eight. Tempest is eight. That is pretty yeah. old for a dairy goat. Um, they can, um, the average lifespan is like eight to 12 years, right, for dairy goats? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So she is pretty old, and um, she's had a lot of kidding, so this is definitely not her first time around. Um, this whole process. So. Graydon's switching to his other arm um, because the other arm is very tired and sometimes you can uh, feel different things with different hands. So uh, that is one of the reasons that Graydon is um, one of the main people who gives, who delivers because he is partly ambidextrous, so he's very good with his left and right hands, whereas for Emery it would be harder to do that. Plus, I mean, he's just awesome. He wants to turn out? Yes. I'll just give it a pull. Um, no, I haven't even shown you doing anything over there. So, Emery is pulling up a shot of oxytocin. Um, and oxytocin is, um, oh. Hey, Emery, you want to help me explain oxytocin? I know kind of what it does, but I don't know how to technically explain it. <clears throat> Ashton, you want to talk to the camera? Mm -hmm. Ashton, um, you know go facts. Fuck you, yes. It causes uh, smooth muscle you. contraction. I believe it. Contractions. Fuck you. I think we give it IM. Yeah. We give it IM. It's usually IM. <clears throat> <clears throat> So I am, um, stands for intermuscular, and it's just the type of shot that you're going to give, whether you're giving it sub Q or I am, huh? whether you're giving it sub Q or I am. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got some legs, maybe. Yeah. What the heck? I'm not using gloves. All right. We're gonna have head problems with this one. Oh. Is this side better? Yeah. Oh, yo, with that. Oh, ha, ha, ha. That is a shot. She's getting old and bony. I didn't mean it, Tempest. You're young and beautiful. Just not as soft as you want. As you can see, we love our goats a lot. Um, Tempest has always been one of Emery's favorites, and um, So it looks like the head is getting stuck, um, which can happen a lot if there's, like Graydon said, 
um, the furniture is all moved around and not um, in a specific order. Um, so it looks like the head is getting caught and Graydon's just trying to work it out of there as smoothly as possible, which can be very hard. Um, the whole baby's going outside. Right? It's also, right, as it's like twisting, um, this is a proper presentation and that's what's going to help keep it down. Yay, um, we got a baby! Keep it all. <laughs> Benjamin's over there trying to fit them. Um, Alright, yep. I'm gonna move out of the way. We're gonna swing this one, try and get all the extra um, fluid out of his lungs. Sorry, Ashton, got a video of your butt. Yeah, both of them are like, no, he's completely dead, and then he kind of jumps back. Get on here. Okay. Mm. You did not brush your teeth this morning. Yeah, I did. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> you did not brush your teeth well this morning. No, I was in a rush. That big mouth. No, you did not. <laughs> hey, I should have brought a spear. It's a girl. Yeah. All right, we got a girl. Is her abdomen open? So I've been suckling up ambiotic fluid the whole time. So this one um, <laughs> has a bit of fluid in her stomach. That means she drank some, which is not good. Um, babies this young can't handle water, much less um, amniotic fluid. Sometimes it actually would be in between. It's like subcutaneous sometimes. Right. Which is really weird. They can sometimes just absorb it yeah. through osmosis because they're just... In there, in there, um, and it can take a while for it to go away. They can just be kind of flabby goats for a while. <laughs> they can just do what? What was that? Flabby goats. You guys missed okay. the arms. So Benjamin out. So that cap is a problem. Out. out. <laughs> All right. So we got a boy first, followed by a girl. And Shockingly, bad tempest. Vlad tempest babies are sun gals. Um, did we mark the time that we oxyed her? 7.20. Yep. I can see a little bit of red sunrise. Yeah, and we're gonna have to step outside to get a show you guys all the sunrise in a second. Alright, well, if you're not moving the goat anymore. That is definitely the bottom. Here you go. The bottom of everything. The bottom of Tempest. All right. So we've got the first one here, a little boy. Came out, we're sure he was alive, spun him. Uh, he had some fluid in his lungs and uh, expelled that, and he was alive and doing well. Second one, a little girl. Also came out, um, not feeling or not certain that... Um, she was doing too hot, um, spun her, expelled fluid from her lungs, and um, now she is doing much better as well. Watch out, there's a baby behind you. Right, so we're flipping Tempest. There we go. Finally got her uh, scooched to the other side. If we just pull her front this way. All right, there we go. That's better. All right. So that's two. Um, Andrew, can you go get more towels? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Good girl, Tempest. What did you say, Indigo? Alright. Yeah. So that's the little boy, number one. This is the little girl, number two. 
And number three is still in there. <clears throat> We're gonna get her out. Uh oh. We got a double oo. Uh, we have a what is most likely a fetus in, in pieces that died a long time ago. All right. That's the thing that's in the way. Not surprised there. Um. Go ahead and give me some warning when that one's gonna come out. Which happens specifically after a tough delivery. Um, is that what it's feeling more like? Yikes. All right, <clears throat> so Graydon um, is suspecting that there's a deceased kid um, from a while ago that um, didn't make it. Um, is that as the third or? Okay, so that is in addition to a third. Um, and he, it is not that, um, it is her colon. So. After a tough delivery, um, the, so there's a thin um, ma um, wall. Uh, what's the, I don't know the word of what? Membrane. membrane, yeah, membrane. All I could get was stuck on mammary. Um, membrane, there's a thin membrane in between the colon and the, um, or I guess the, it's not. That was that big thing I was feeling through earlier. Right. Um, in between the colon and um, the birth canal. Um, and so the, there's like a, a tube for the colon mm -hmm. that connects to the colon. Um, and that's where all of um, mm -hmm. her poop will go through. And that kind of sits on a thin membrane that separates the birth canal and the colon. Um, that, that thin membrane seems to have torn um, and the colon tube has dropped into the birth canal. Um, and so that can make the birth very difficult. Um, that's probably one of the reasons that these guys um, have had some trouble coming out. Um, and definitely one of the reasons that Graydon's had trouble um, telling what's what. Um, this has happened to a few of our goats before. Um, it's it's a numbers game. Um, you know, there are going to be complications that happen when you have as many goats as we do, um, and you're going to see those. Um, so that's kind of what is going on here. So there is still a third baby in there. Um, and this one might be so bad that she might not be. That she might not be okay. Tempest. Um, okay. Right. So it is definitely in the way. Um, so to get this baby out, he's going to have to kind of hold it up. Um, right. Um, but she can't survive with a baby in her. So the baby has to come out. So. Colon. Or it's not even the colon. The colon is... The butthole, so it's it's. What? Isn't the colon? Yeah. And that's the anus. The colon is. <laughs> um, the colon is the tube that connects to the anus. <laughs> Anatomy. It's it's early morning, people. <laughs> Ashton's giving me Ashton's giving me a look like you're a moron. All right, so the whole colon is, feels like it's pretty much just dropped into the birth canal, or is it past the cervix? I don't feel like there is a birth canal. Right. I feel like it's also in the process that I can reach up from where my hand wants to find if I want to. Right. Um, so we can pull my stretcher down. All right, so yeah, things are a mess back there. Um, like we said, we were... Um, you know, we, we knew this was going to be an interesting delivery, um, and we're going to do everything we can to make sure that um, 
the, uh, the babies are safe and that Tempest is safe. Um, but we'll see what that looks like. Um, all right. Graydon looks like he's got hooves, a single hoof. Um, so that's better than nothing. Um, Yeah, that does look very upside down. Okay, so so this baby's all twisted up, um, and he's gonna spin. He's got to spin it so that it can come out with its nose um, pointed down. There we go. He got that nose down, and some good pushes from Tempest, and that one's definitely breathing. So that's good news. Um, does that one need to be? That one looks. Pretty decent, but does it need to get spun? Is it breathing? There we go. So Graydon just said, whoop de doo it feels like there's another one. So she's have she has quads, um, which again doesn't surprise us um at all. Good job, Tempest. You got a lot of babies. <laughs> Is that just Um, so she had. Just bloody. Right, so this one is this one's a chamoise, um, and it's got it's a girl. Was that that was a girl? Yeah, that's a girl. Um, so that's a second girl. Boy, girl, girl. Boy, girl, girl. This guy was number one. You can see he's kind of tuckered out. Um, this girl's finally starting to get her energy up a little bit. And Tempest is feeling it. She is exhausted. All right, so is this one, I'm assuming um, this would be right side. So she had, so she had three in one horn. Unless the first one was in fact on the other side, which I thought it was, and the one that I had pushed back originally, just saying we the heck out of here, which is possible. Because okay. the first one, I'm not sure. I thought I pulled it out of the left one. When I got it, it I went back into the right horn, and there wasn't anything there. So I thought maybe I'd pulled it out of the right horn. Okay. So we would assume that there were two in each horn, but they, that could be inaccurate. Um, they can have three in one side and one in the other. Like it's not always um, split perfectly. Things, things inside the womb aren't exactly always perfect and symmetrical. Um, a lot of times things can be quite messy. Um, so is this one relatively normal presentation? No, not even close. Not even close. So All again, of these babies aren't even presenting. They're just in the in the in the in the, in the fluid. What is the um, um, Tartarus? Uh, yeah. Tartarus. Tartarus. Tempest is Tartarus. Um, so in case um, you don't get that reference, um, that's Greek mythology, um, which we know maybe a little too much about um, mm -hmm. to consider ourselves normal. Um, but Tartarus is um, the realm that underneath the earth, um, that's a bottomless pit where... Um, Bad things go. Yes, um, it is not Hades. A place. It, right, it's not Hades though, which is where like souls go in Greek mythology. Um, it is a, 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 another realm entirely. So, but it's it's typically depicted as an endless pit. Um, so some of the reasons that um, these kids may not be presenting very well is if she does have a tear in her. Um, uh, colon or the membrane between the colon and the birth canal, then um, her contractions can be a lot weaker. Um, and specifically, depending on how far that tear goes up, can be even um, completely, completely useless um, and actually just pushing all of that um, back into the, into the colon. So that's one of the reasons that um, her contractions may not be pushing these kids into proper present presentation as well is because um, of that tear.
Mm. Sorry. Are her contractions feeling any stronger or are they still showy? <laughs> or are they still show? So they're not as showy at this it's, point? No, I mean, it's just pressure. It's not like right. you can't much. Hey, this guy's starting to wake up a little bit. Oh, ow. I just hit my head. <laughs> so, uh, you know, when Graydon wanted uh, her to push, she wouldn't push. Then when he needed to sort things out, she decided it was a good time to push. And now that he's got them sorted out and ready for her to push again, she's uh, not pushing. Not surprising. Well, that's because when they feel pressure in there, they push. Right, so what Graydon was saying was when there's pressure um, inside, when... Um, either a baby's at the, you know, pushing on the cervix or pushing on the vaginal opening, um, then they'll uh, push and have contractions um, as well as when hands do that. So when you're, when you're going in there and you're attempting to um, position a baby, um, they feel that added pressure and that's when they contract a lot of times. Whereas... Oh, when the baby's head's all spinning sideways and creating a massive... Right, when the, when the baby's head is spinning sideways and in the incorrect position, then it applies additional pressure, um, and she feels that pressure and wants to contract. And so a lot of times, as soon as it's in proper presentation, she's like, oh, there's no additional pressure. I can just take a break now. So that's one of the things that can happen. So do you have two hooves at this point, or are you still working with one? Uh, I had, excuse me, I had two, and uh, trying to get the head in position, but my hand was dying, so I needed to hold one I have to hold on to and give my head a break. Right, so he ha does have, um, you said two hooks? I forgot. Yeah, two hooks and a head so, in the air. I'm not sure where the other arm and the head are okay. now that I let go. So he only has one hoof out, um, and that's just to make sure that um, the baby doesn't slide back into, quote, Tartarus. Um, <laughs> and um, he'll go back in to bring that second leg and that head into proper position. So you can see what we're talking about. All of these, quote, proper presentation babies are presenting upside down because they're coming from this huge, huge depth. They're right. way up there in a rib cage, and when they get start to move up here, they flip upside down because their back naturally bends that way. Right. So take a look at this huff. You can see the um, second joint. What's that one called? Ashton? That's the first joint. Okay, yeah, the second like hoof I meant um, is facing up. The dew claw? Goats have dew claws? No, they don't have actual dew claws. Okay, well, it's... anyway, you can see the hoof is upside down um, and facing up uh, towards her spine as opposed to down towards her hooves, which is not proper and not ideal. So, yeah. We have a pretty sunrise though. This is the farm right now. Got a beautiful sunrise and snow and ice everywhere that's just starting to melt. But yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Uh, we'll come back in here though. So Graydon's still working with her. These babies are all just chilling. Benjamin is back. Ashton looks like she's just chilling. Hi. Indigo looks freezing. I mean, it's not that cold out, but I'm not taking on my jacket. <laughs> Poor Tempest is feeling it. I don't even think she knows he's there. We got baby starting to cry over here. We haven't, we haven't checked on the other, other goats in a second. Some of those girls might be getting close. Mwah! <laughs> <laughs>
Stand her up. Okay, so we need to get her to stand up. Indigo's going to take the camera and talk to you guys while Ashton and I... Oh, sorry. He has a pop socket and it just totally spun. All right. Trying not to get Ashton's butt in this. That's just awkward. <laughs> there we go. She is up. So you can see now she's standing um, what three negative three babies looks like. Yeah. Is the baby on this side? No. Hey Benjamin, you might want to get out of the way, silly. All right. So he's gonna try and pump her just to help bring up the baby even a little bit, and Tempest's stomach is really heavy so if emery is lifting in that's heavy for him just think of what tempest is there we go yeah i can feel the i mean like a little bit but not enough for me we lifted like a lot too yeah you did i'm telling you these kids are literally on the bottom of the show Sitting there on the towels, like, oh yeah, I have the best life. I think it's no quads. Uh, boy, girl, girl. Sam came to join us. Say hi, Sam. Say hi, Sam. Hi. There you go. <laughs> um, girls, specifically Viola. So Graydon is um, going backwards. I don't know why. <laughs> um, it, it makes it so your, your arm doesn't bend. bend your arm doesn't bend this way. Right. Your arm bends this way. And she's down again. <laughs> okay. Two hooves right side up. That's good. There's a lot of birth go over here. I'm gonna try and avoid because I'm not in barn clothes except for my jacket, which is actually Brett's because I don't have one. Um, don't tell Brett. <laughs> Hopefully, she doesn't watch this video all the way through. Why? I said I'm wearing Brett's jacket and yeah. Only if she sees me in it. Doesn't have to check it. 
Viola. No. A sick band on her back. Broken belt of sundown. <laughs> well, him, they always out. get teeth lips and Viola. They? You, you've done it before too. You look better and you're like. Not when I can see both of them. You're now I'm offended. <laughs> okay, when they're separate. I wouldn't say when they're and, and, both. And I just say the wrong name that. and then go, oh yeah, that's Teakwood, or oh yeah, that's Viola. <laughs> that hurt. Brandon's like getting his hands squeezed off. He's like, where it's hurt, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that face of everything was there. So he had the head, and then <laughs> what? He let it go for a second, and it was gone. <laughs> the amount of times we've asked that over the years. Graydon's poor arms. So much pressure. Uh, I guess we can get started on these guys in there. Ashley's going to take the third one into the milk room. is trying to get it smoothly out, yeah. kind of gliding. Which could just be the umbilical cord. I'm gonna move and hide because that's so gross. Keep an eye on this. stuff out. Vigorous movements help to get the baby active and right now we're just trying to get him to cough up a little bit of that and start breathing normally. And we're doing the, the, common, the common baby rub that we see from people. Yeah, doing? like active. First off, you'll drive that girl off. Like you may as well just hang it up and dry it. <laughs> Boy. Yep. All right, there we go. You can see him breathing. Good. 
Good job, Tempest. That was a lot. Okay, he's gonna. Emery's gonna bring him in. I'm sure, unless Graydon. I'm just gonna do the search. Yeah, that's not necessary to watch. Um, okay. I would like to get looped up first. Watch out, let me get through. <laughs> Benjamin, are you coming with or are you staying in here for more support for Graydon? He's 100% there. Hmm? <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm staying here. Good job, Tempest. Alright, Graydon's going to get her all sorted out and make sure that everything's going smoothly with the placenta and he's going to check for anything else that could be in there. We are going to go to the milk room and see all the babies that she just had. So, we got a boy. So we got two boys and two girls? Yep. yep. One of each. One of each. Sungao and yeah. Shimo And the boy Sungao is the only broken one, right? Yes. So we got four babies here. This one is the first one, a broken sungao, which is a, and he's a boy. And then we have a sungao girl, and then a um, shamwaze girl, and then a shamwaze boy. Mm -hmm. And Graydon is back. Mm -hmm. Ashton's getting all of the Paperwork filled out. Just gonna get collars. And yeah. Okay, Emery, um, I have to get to work. So I'm going to sign off, you guys. Here are the four babies. Um, Emery will be getting a video later to introduce them with their names. Bye, y'all.